Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the silent pandemic of antimicrobial resistance. Now the rapidly rising antimicrobial resistance rates need an accelerated multi-sectoral global and national response. If we talk about the data on antimicrobial resistance, in 2019 AMR was associated with an estimated 4.95 million human deaths. An Indian Council of Medical Research (ICMR) study in 2022 showed that the resistance level increases from 5% to 10% every year for broad-spectrum antimicrobials. The global epidemic of tuberculosis has been severely impacted by multidrug resistance, as patients have less than a 60% chance of recovery. Now, what is antimicrobial resistance or AMR? It occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites change over time and no longer respond to medicines making infections harder to treat and increasing the risk of disease spread, severe illness and death. If we talk about the causes of AMR, antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria evolve to evade antibiotics. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics are the biggest drivers of resistance. Other drivers of antimicrobial resistance include the lack of access to clean water, sanitation and hygiene for both humans and animals, poor infection and disease prevention and control in healthcare facilities and farms, poor access to quality, affordable medicines, vaccines and diagnostics and lack of awareness and knowledge. Now what are the issues involved? Microbial resistance to antibiotics has made it harder to treat infections such as pneumonia, tuberculosis, blood poisoning or septicemia and several foodborne diseases. AMR also imposes a huge health cost on the patient in the form of longer hospitalization, health complications and delayed recovery. It also strains the health systems of a country. It puts the patients undergoing major surgeries and treatments such as chemotherapy at a greater risk. Now let's discuss India's efforts against AMR. The National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance has a focus on one health approach and was launched on 19th of April 2017. It emphasized the sanitation programs such as Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Kaya Kalp and Swachh Swast Sarvatra. AMR research and international collaboration or ICMR has taken initiatives to develop new drugs or medicines through international collaborations. The key priority of National Health Policy 2017 offered specific guidelines regarding use of antibiotics limiting the use of antibiotics as over the counter medications next is the india's red line campaign which demands that prescription only antibiotics be marked with a red line to discourage the over the counter sale of antibiotics is a step forward coming to the global efforts global antimicrobial resistance and use surveillance system that is glass was launched in 2015 by WHO to continue filling knowledge gaps and to inform strategies at all levels Global Antibiotic Research and Development Partnership which is a joint initiative of WHO and the Drugs for Neglected Diseases initiative and lastly the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week is a global campaign that aims to raise awareness of antimicrobial resistance worldwide now about the way ahead as the current G20 president and as a country vulnerable to the silent pandemic india's role is critical in ensuring that amr remains high on global public health agenda now some of the key areas for action are surveillance both phenotypic and genotypic of priority pathogens and sharing of data including through who's glass platform regulatory and policy action to stop use of antibiotics that are important for human health in animals no use of antibiotics for growth promotion in animals more government investment in research and innovation for new antibiotics and special focus on combating tuberculosis and drug resistant tuberculosis now that was little bit about the topic let's take a practice question india's red line initiative is associated with which of the following first to aware youngsters of the use of steroids in sports second to create awareness regarding aids third to discourage the over the counter sale of antibiotics and fourth to engage citizens on issues of food safety and adulteration now which of the statements given above is or are correct you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below
Now the correct answer is C as the India's red line initiative discourages the over the counter sale of antibiotics. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to Next IS YouTube channel.